In a democratic country, rights are entitlements of a citizen that apply regardless of their caste, creed or any other social or religious division. Saudi Arabia is ruled by a hereditary king and citizens cannot elect or change the ruler. The legislature and executive are selected by the king. The people in Kosovo were mainly ethnic Albanian, but the majority in the country were Serbs. Milo Selvic, a narrow-minded Serb nationalist, won the election wanted the Serbs to dominate the country. Rights are essential to sustain democracy and protect minorities from oppression. Fundamental rights like equality, liberty and justice are the basic rights of a citizen. The government cannot deny any citizen on equality or equal protection of laws. Under the Indian constitution, all citizens are entitled to freedom of speech and expression. Assemble in a peaceful manner. Form associations and unions. Move freely throughout the country. Reside in any part of the country. Practice any profession or carry on any occupation, trade or business. To prevent the exploitation of the weaker sections of the society, the constitution laid down the right of exploitation. Every citizen has the right to profess, practice and propagate the religion that he or she believes in. When new societies emerge or constitutions are formed, new rights develop. The following new rights are guaranteed by the Constitution of South Africa. Right to privacy. No person or home may be searched. Cell phones should not be taped and communications should not be accessed. Right to a clean, green and healthy environment. Right to have adequate housing. Right to access to health care and food and water. Right to get emergency medical treatment whenever required. Amnesty International It is an independent international organization of volunteers who campaign for human rights. It highlights violation of human rights all over the world. Claim. A demand for legal or moral entitlement which a person makes of fellow citizens, society or the government. Covenant. A promise made by individuals, groups or countries to uphold a rule or principle. Dalit. A person belonging to a low caste also known as scheduled castes and depressed classes. Ethnic group, a group of people who share a common ancestry. They are bound together by common cultural practices, religious beliefs and historical memories. Traffic purposes, buying or selling of men, women or children for immoral purposes. Summon. An order issued by a court asking a person to appear before it. Writ. A written document by which a court asks to do something. Under the right of constitutional remedies, the court issues five types of writs called quo warranto, habeas corpus, mandamus, prohibition, and certiorari. Begar. The practice of working free for landlords or other powerful people. 
preventive detention taken into custody by the police on grounds of fear of breach of the peace internet access of fundamental rights supreme court makes it official article 19 explained the supreme court has declared access to internet a fundamental right The ruling is in sync with the United Nations recommendation that every country should make access to internet a fundamental right. By Prabhash K. Datta, the Supreme Court has declared access to internet a fundamental right. A government cannot deprive the citizens of fundamental rights except under certain conditions explicitly mentioned in the Constitution. The ruling came on hearing of a plea in connection with internet blockade in Jammu and Kashmir since 5th August in the view of revoking of article 370 in the union territory. Indian constitution makes the right to freedom of speech and expression a fundamental right for all citizens. It has been listed in article 19 1A of the constitution. The Supreme Court has on many occasion expanded the scope of the right to freedom of speech and expression. The latest expansion makes the constitutional provision keep pace with the innovation of technology. Internet is the primary source of information to millions of Indian citizens. A non-citizen can avail the same benefits but cannot claim it as her fundamental right. The Supreme Court ruling is also in sync with the United Nations recommendation that every country should make access to internet a fundamental right. In India, Kerala had become the first state in 2017 to declare access to internet a basic human right. A state cannot technically declare a service, facility or a kind protection as fundamental right as it requires interpretation of by high courts and or the supreme court or amendment to the constitution by parliament. All citizens irrespective of caste, color, region, religion, ethnicity sex or place of birth are equal before the law every citizen shall have the access to public places like shops restaurants hotels and cinema halls there shall be no restriction with regard to the use of wells tanks bathing ghats roads playgrounds and places of public resorts maintained by the government or dedicated to the use of public all citizens shall have equal opportunity in matters of employment this right makes other rights effective if sometimes our rights are violated by fellow citizens private bodies or by the government we can seek remedy through courts if it is a fundamental right we can directly approach the supreme court or the high court of a state that is why dr ambedkar called it the heart and soul of our constitution india is a secular state A secular state is one that does not establish any one religion as official religion. Indian secularism practices an attitude of a principle and equal distance from all religions. The state must be neutral and impartial in dealing with all religions. Every person has a right to profess, practice and propagate any religion that he or she believes in. 
There shall be no religious instruction in the government educational institutions. In educational institutions managed by private bodies, no person shall be compelled to take part in any religious instruction or to attend any religious worship. Even if a hundred people think in one way, one should have the freedom to think differently and express his her views accordingly. Freedom of speech and expression means You are free to criticize the government or the activities of the association in your conversations with parents, friends and relatives. You may publicize your views through a pamphlet, magazine or newspaper. You can do it through paintings, poetry or songs. You cannot use this freedom to instigate violence against others. You cannot use it to incite people to rebel against government. The Constitution of South Africa guarantees its citizens several kinds of new rights. Right to privacy, so that citizens or their home cannot be searched, their phones cannot be tapped, their communication cannot be opened. Fly to an environment that is not harmful to their health or well-being. Right to have access to adequate housing. Right to have access to health care services, sufficient food and water. No one may be refused emergency medical treatment. Human rights are universal moral claims that may or may not have been recognized by law. Every human being has the right to live and enjoy his life and should not be tortured by any means. The Constitution prohibits child labor. No one can employ a child below the age of 14 to work in any factory or mine or in any other hazardous work, such as railways and ports. The fundamental rights are guaranteed by the following ways. The fundamental rights are guaranteed against the actions of the legislature, the executive, and any other authorities instituted by the government. If any act of the legislature or the executive takes away or limits any of the fundamental rights, it will be invalid. We can challenge such laws of the central and state governments, the policies and actions of the government or the governmental organizations like the nationalized banks or electricity boards. Courts also enforce the fundamental rights against private individuals and private bodies. The Supreme Court and High Courts have the power to issue directions, orders or writs for the enforcement of the fundamental rights. They can also award compensation to the victims and punishment to the violators. Under the Indian Constitution, all citizens exercise several freedoms which are covered in the right to freedom. So, every citizen has the right to all the following freedoms. Freedom of speech and expression. Freedom to assemble in a peaceful manner. Freedom to form associations and unions. Freedom to move freely throughout the country. Freedom to reside in any part of the country and Freedom to practice any profession or to carry on any occupation, trade or business. 
The Constitution says that no person can be deprived of his life or personal liberty except according to procedure established by law. It means that no person can be killed unless the court has ordered a death sentence. A government or police officer can arrest or detain any citizen unless he has proper legal justification. Even when they do, they have to follow some procedures. A person who is arrested and detained in custody will have to be informed of the reasons for such arrest and detention. A person who is arrested and detained shall be produced before the nearest magistrate within a period of 24 hours of arrest. Such a person has the right to consult a lawyer or engage a lawyer for his defense. Saudi Arabia is ruled by a hereditary king and the people have no rule in electing or changing their rulers. The king selects the legislature as well as the executive. He appoints the judges and can change any of their decisions. Citizens cannot form political parties or any political organizations. Media cannot report anything that the monarch does not like. There is no freedom of religion. Every citizen is required to be Muslim. Non-Muslim residents can follow their religion in private, but not in public. Women are subjected to many public restrictions. The testimony of one man is considered equal to that of two women.